A field of 15. And they're off the 2022 Agatha UK Limited Classic. Three miles and five furlongs, a good gallop to the first of 22 fences. Grace of Uenki on the wide outside, a Claire Surf, Manila Encore, Shiriko Vallis, and in the first time visor, last year's hero, not a chance amongst the leaders. With no rematch, the Blue Jacket following, and they're now reaching fence number one. Manila Encore maybe just touching down first. They're all getting over it safely. The back to a shield just pushed along to go quite a brisk early pace at the back with head to the stars a clear surf is going to take off just first at the second obstacle paddle your own canoes a good sit from harry skelton there i thought he was coming out of the saddle he's got to gather up his reins again it's having all sorts of difficulty the the champion jockey after the second obstacle and he might have to he might have to pull up i think he's going to on board Paddle Your Own Canoe, the equipment's just letting him down. So Paddle Your Own Canoe is out of this after two fences. As they turn left-handed and run on towards number three. A clear surf is disputing with Shiriko Vallis. Getting over the next one, the third, Milena Encore, the hollow ginge, the blue and red, just in behind the pace with Jericho Rock, orange colours the outside. They're followed by Captain Tommy, no rematch, Grace of Uenki out wider. Here's an open ditch, number four. Uh, Grace of Uenki, not that fluent, is in front of uh, Jerry's back, the white cap, J.P. McManus colours, Korak Rambler, three quarters of the way back through the field, the blue and yellow as they get over the fifth with game line in the yellow and a shield is last of all. And uh, Harry Skelton's dismounted, paddle your own canoe. The horse looks uh, none the worse as unfortunately out of the race uh, quite early after just the second fence as it is. That uh, Shiriko Vallis and Richie McLernan leading the way here to in second position, Eclair Surf and Tom Bellamy. These are being followed by Charlie Hammond and Manila Encore with uh, Not A Chance and Tom Cannon uh, traveling sweetly early on in fourth place. A little gap then to Jericho Rock in the orange ahead of the hollow ginge Sam Twist and Davies. No rematch, Bryony and Grace of Uenke on the outside of Paddy Brennan and Captain Tommy. Then Jerry's back, game line. Korak Rambler in no hurry under Derek Fox is towards the back and the final two, a shield and a Hugh Nugent riding for his granddad on Head to the Stars. Heading into the back straight, and a clear surf has opened up by two and a half lengths here. Still on the first circuit to Shiriko Vallis in second. They're running towards fence number six. Manila Encore running in third position. A winner at Ludlow last time up ahead of Not a Chance. First fence in the back straight, not a chance in fourth. A little bit novicey there was Jericho Rock in fifth position. The hollow ginge on the inside, no rematch. Grace of Uenki just nudged along as they get over that open ditch. And Korak Rambler is still towards the back in rear. As they come towards the middle one in the back straight, a clear surf, making this a real test. Not a chance, made a slight mistake at that. Also not that fluent, no rematch back in the field. As they've got two more to take in the back straight first time around, a clear surf is leading Shiriko Vallis in third place Manella Encore one or two ragged leaps amongst those in behind but a clear surf uh, having none of those in the lead took that very nicely to in second Shiriko Vallis a little gap then to Manella Encore it hasn't been the best not a chance over the last few but runs in for the head of Jericho Rock and then in the next position the hollow gin just shields picked off a few of them Grace of Uenki Captain Tommy no rematch well back with game line head to the stars a shield is in about 10 10th place on the outside and Korak Rambler the Lucinda Russell challenger is going to try and come from the back of the field. They've completed their first circuit. Fence number 11, a clear surf under Tom Bellamy, leading Shiriko Vallis and Richie McLernan with in third position still is Manella Encore and not a chance. And then the hollow ginge. This will be the last next time around. And over that in about sixth place, Grace of Uenki, just ahead of the hollow ginge, a shield. Jerry's back is yet to be played, is three quarters of the way back through the field with Captain Tommy. Korak Rambler has got head to the stars, the struggling no rematch and game line behind. A circuit to go in the Agatha UK Limited Classic. And Emma Lavelle, she trained Shotgun Paddy to win this race in 2014 and her eclair surf.
for Dominic Burke and Tim Sider leading the way here by four lengths to Sharico Vallis in second position. The first of three fences on the run away from us. Uh, not a chance has gone into third place. Last year's winner with uh, Grace of Uenke, one of the six-year-olds next. Manila Encore's just uh, losing a place or two on the inside. A clear surf made a mistake at that ditch, but he got away with it. Still in second is Sharico Vallis. Korak Ramblers trying to pick a few off and move closer as they come to the next one. Gave that one enough daylight, the leader, a clear surf. In third, now just chased along is not a chance. Jericho Rock going okay on that one's outer. Then Captain Tommy moving closer into fifth ahead of the hollow ginge Grace of Uenki. A shield out wide, head to the stars has made a little bit of ground with Korak Rambler. And Jerry's back on the outside. So now taking a descent. They've got seven left to jump, and a clear surf leads the way in the classic to in second Sharico Vallis. A shield's just been on and off the bridle, but is more competitive now than he's been at any other stage. Is just in about fourth position behind Not a Chance, with on the inner the Hollow Ginge, Sam Twist, and Davies. Jericho Rock in between the Hollow Ginge and a shield. Jerry's back is running in seventh. Grace of Uenki off the bridle. Then Captain Tommy head to the stars. Korak Rambler is struggling back in the pack. He's got an awful lot to do from where he is as they now enter the back straight. Head to the stars also just coming off the bridle as they run to what is going to be the 16th fence of the 22. And a clear surf still has a clear advantage coming into this next one. Sharico Vallis remains in second place. Not a chance in third. Jericho Rock. Jerry's back a mistake at that. Head to the stars trying to make ground out wide. The hollow ginge. Captain Tommy still on the inner close enough. Then Grace of Uenki and Cora Rack Rambler is starting to stay on. He's got a lot of ground to make up, but he's picking a few off as a clear surf has the advantage over that one. Sharico Vallis, Jericho Rock in third. Not a chance, struggling a bit now. And then Captain Tommy. Korak Rambler continues to make a little bit of progress. He jumped that one very well under Derek Fox. Just going into fourth place now. The hollow ginger's weakened. So as Jerry's back, a clear surf has got over the third last fence with a lead of about five or six to in second position, Sharico Vallis. Jericho Rock the outside. Korak Rambler back in fourth. Clear of Captain Tommy. Can a clear surf keep up the gallop here? The six year old Jericho Rock going into pursuit. Sharico Vallis in third now. Korak Rambler back in fourth. A clear surf and Tom Bellamy comes to the second last in the Agatha UK Limited Classic. He still leads by six to Jericho Rock. And then Sharico Vallis. Korak Rambler back in fourth. One left to jump. He's dominated this. A clear surf. He's made almost every yard. Here's the final fence. A clear surf is over. He's seven or eight clear of Jericho Rock, Sharico Vallis, and then Korak Rambler. A clear surf's entitled to be tired. He's been at the sharp end throughout, but he's keeping up the gallop and doing so hugely admirably on the run to the line. A clear surf gives Emma Lavelle her second classic. Tom Bellamy in the saddle. A tremendous win. Jericho Rock second. Third, Sharico Vallis, then Korak Rambler, and Jerry He's back. Well, Emma Lavelle has won Warwick's big race of the year for the second time in recent seasons. Eclair Surf doing the job this time. Many congratulations, Emma. He didn't just do the job, he absolutely did a demolition job. <laughs> He did. I mean, uh, first and foremost, I have to say a massive thank you to Barry, who rides him every day, and he is not straightforward. He um, He's just a horse that, that does all his work on his own. He tends to be a little bit keen, and um, and he's done an amazing job on him to, to get him here in the shape that he has. And, um, and you know, he's a horse that he's got loads of ability, and he can jump brilliantly, but he just has this thing of throwing in one shocker on the way around. And... Um, and he did it today as well. So, um, you know, and, and I, I knew that Tom was sort of, you know, he wanted to get a good start and then um, get into a rhythm. But he was just so fresh and well, the horse, and he was tanking along and, and jumping. And I think none of us expected him to be quite as far clear as he was at that point. And, um, but he got a chance to fill him and then finish. So it was, oh, it was brilliant. Yeah, and I, I spoke to Tom in the immediate aftermath of the race, and he said that he doesn't really give him any indication when the mistake is coming. <laughs> and so he's got no way of preparing for it. And it's almost as though he's sort of saying to Tom, are you still with me? You know, yeah. are you concentrating? <laughs> exactly, and that's just it. And you could see, you know, you could see Tom saying, hey, come here now, let's just pop it. He's like, no, no, I don't think so. I'm going to do it my way. And then, <laughs> boof. But, you know, that's him. And, and I think, um, in a way, it's, it's like Tom rides him expecting the unexpected. And, uh, and so, touch with, they've got a great relationship going. Um, 
Um, and the partnership between you and Tom is clearly working very well at the moment. Yeah, it's been great. Um, he is uh, he's a, a massive team player, and um, which is which is great for our, for us and and for the for the rest of the gang at home. You know, it, it, he comes in twice a week and rides plenty. And and when he's riding, you know, he's thinking about the day, but he's also thinking about the next time they're going to run and the time after that. So yeah, it does. It works really well, and 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 a lot of thought goes into it. And and you know, touch wood, it's it's going the right way. And on a personal level, what does it mean to you to win this race again? Um, oh, it's 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 a special race. And um, Barry was here last time when Shotgun Paddy won, and and he was, you know, it was probably one of those first really big, valuable races. And and I remember that day, he was pretty emotional. So I sort of feel that you know, it's 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 um, they're proper races. These they're not easy to win. No. And um, and it's uh, yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant for the owner and it's brilliant for everybody back at home. Um, this might be a question for another day, but I'll ask it anyway. What, is, what might the future have in store for him? Um, well, what was exciting today is that he can go that gallop and stay. Mm. Um, you know, he had a lot of horses in trouble and, and then you're thinking, is he going to get home? But he, you know, he got home really well. So, you know, I think these staying trips are definitely up his, his, his street. Um, I'm not. I'm. I'm not convinced that at this stage of his career he's a national horse. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not saying he won't be down the line, um, but he couldn't afford to make one of those errors and, and get away with it in a national. Sure. Um, I'm, I wouldn't rule it out completely, but I think that that's for something down the line. I think probably. You know whether we talk about the Scottish National being a little bit earlier this year, you might mm. get slightly softer ground than sometimes. I think he does like the ground to be, um, you know, if if not really soft, at least at least with plenty of cut in there. Um, but we've got plenty. Of, there are plenty of these good staying chases around, and and if the handicapper doesn't do anything too drastic, <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, you know there there are some nice races to aim at. Yeah, well, that's that's all in the future. For the time being, enjoy the moment. Many Thank congratulations. You very much. Thank you. Claire Surf and Tom Bellamy have taken apart the big race here this afternoon. Congratulations, Tom. Oh, first of all, what does that mean to you? Oh, it's massive, and, and like, that's my, my first big winner for Emma, and obviously that's a, a sort of fresh link up, and uh, to get one on the board in our first season is massive, and um, you know, it's a big race, 100 grand handicap, so uh, absolutely chuffed and chuffed for the horse as well. Uh, that looked like a plan today, to go out and be positive and put pressure on them for an early stage. Yeah, well, I think, look, in these races, you kind of, Everybody tends to line up in the front line and get a good start. And I sort of said beforehand, look, we'll do that and be positive over the first couple and then just see where we're at. And, you know, sometimes that can be sixth or seventh. Sometimes you land in front. And that's just the way it happened today. And we turned down the hill on the side there first time. And he half took off of me, actually, <laughs> in a three and a half mile handicap chase. You, you don't usually find that. But um, he did. And then we sort of got a few lengths on the rest of them. And then I was able to dictate from there. So it was, um, I'm glad he did do that. Um, I thought his jumping was pretty good today. He made perhaps one mistake at the open ditch down the side, but other than that, spot on. Yeah, look, the, the day I come back off this horse and he hasn't made a mistake is probably the day I've retired because he, he just always chucks one in. His jumping so much better now than it used to be because he used to make a lot of smaller mistakes, whereas now he tends to be spot on everywhere and just chuck one in. So, uh, yeah, is that as long a concentration thing with him or is it... It's not really. He met that fence on the same stride as a lot of the others, but he just decided to take it by the roots. He just, I think he just makes sure I'm still awake and holding on tight, to be honest with you. But um, as long as he knows where his landing gear is, I don't mind too much. And were you always confident he would keep rolling in the last mile or so? Yeah, so once we got down the back, I, I lined up to that line of five and I just said, right, get over these and then we can sort of take a view. And I jumped the last one down the back and got a little bit tight to that. And I waited to hear something on my heels and I didn't hear anything, so I was fairly plain sailing from there. Yeah, there was nothing coming, 13 no. lengths at the yeah. line. Uh, many congratulations. Listen, enjoy the moment, won't you? Thank you very much. Cheers, yeah, I will.